Vidya's world and for this video I'll be trying some Thai snacks. Right now I'm in Bangkok at Hotel Presidency Park and here I went to the uh, supermarket which was there in the MBK mall and it was like huge okay it was so huge and then I decided that I should actually buy some Thai snacks and do a uh, trying Thai snacks video and I wasn't really sure about their flavors because most of it were like you know just um, just the salmon and dried fish and banana chips with tuna flavor or shrimp flavor and I'm not much of a fan of all these seafood thingies also these people had a lot of seaweed snacks so I'm not a fan of those things so I bought the things which I think I be have like I like having so here we go over here I have these uh, little cone shaped chips which are okay I don't understand this language but i guess when i bought this i saw that it was a cheese flavored one so just let's find it out it smells like it smells like something you know call me cheese definitely but it is very sweet for me like I've noticed this thing in here that all these Thai people have a lot of sweet corn desserts like everything is mostly uh, like you know all the deserts are mostly made up of either sweet corn or durian or mangoes and oh also red bean paste so i guess this is one of those things but it's not exactly a dessert but it's a snack but it has a sweet tinge of sweet corn along with the saltiness of cheese it goes so well together hmm. moving on i mean moving on This is again my favorite. I guess if you guys saw my video of trying American snacks, you guys realize that how crazy I am for Cheetos. So yeah, this is a Thai Cheetos. Like it's not written in here because like it is written Cheetos in here, but it's not in English. But it is Cheetos because like it was written on the rack of the market so I know that this is Cheetos and this is cheese flavored one hmm. even this is a corn thing hmm. it's not that it's not that great like I've had cheese corn cheetos a lot of times and it was much more flavorful this is like very bland okay and maybe it's because like for the read uh, you know the regional difference like if you have the american cheetos the cheese flavor only you'll feel like there's a burst of cheese inside your mouth it's that flavorful whereas if you have the Indian version of Cheetos, you'll find out that the same thing happens, but it is slightly spicier, the cheese flavor itself, and this one is like really bland, like you don't feel the cheese, neither do you feel the saltiness or the sweetness of the corn, so it's like not that good. Also, uh, Thailand is really, really, really famous for matcha. And guess what guys, I realized that cutting those packages were taking a lot of my time. Thus, I've already prepared all the packages with proper cuts. So, here goes the matcha Kit Kat bites. Not balls, bites. So, I've actually never had matcha in my life. But, 
um, I'm pretty excited for it. Matcha is nothing but green tea powder and I'm not a fan of green tea, but let's see. I guess I'll be one of those people who love matcha more than green tea. And it's so wonderful. It's this beautiful green tea flavor which is too sweet actually but which complements and enhances the flavor of green tea. And it's just so beautiful and something so very unique to my you know, it's something very new to my taste buds, so I'm loving this one. Also, um, we have another Kit Kat, which is in a milk tea flavor. Okay, I forgot to cut this, but now mind. Okay, I'm pretty excited for the milk tea flavor because... I am a chai person, alright? If you're from India, you would know that how much people love chai in here. But you know what? I just realized that milk tea in Thailand is nothing near to chai. In fact, they serve it in glasses with, uh, glasses cold with ice cubes. Like you, why would you have chai with ice cubes? That's disgusting. But let's give this a try. Okay, so this is basically like a milk tea flavor, cum chocolate flavor. Yeah, it's chocolate from beneath in milk tea on the upper side. And unlike Kit Kats in India, it's not wrapped in a silver paper. So yeah. I'm not mm, I'm not really understanding the flavor like you don't feel the chocolate neither do you feel the milk tea it just all the flavor is like that of an expensive soap it tastes like an expensive soap I don't know why did I just say that. It's not like a tasted one, but yeah, it is like that. And not my thing. So these are the waffle rolls, and these are like really different from the normal waffles that we have. This is more in a wafery form, so let's give this a try. Okay, these are like super cute little rolls. You can see how cute these rolls are and there are like thin layers of waffles rolled together and I'll have this in one bite because I don't want to mess, uh, I don't want to create a mess in here as if it's not already messy. <laughs> so yeah. These. Exactly tastes like chocolate waffles. And it's like so crispy, you know? And it's very, very, I don't know, what do you say? Bizarre? But bizarre in a very good way because at one moment it's like all crunchy, crispy, and the other it just melts away in your mouth. It's so good that, you know, I'll forget wafer cubes or something like that for these rolls. Now moving on to something savory, too much of sweetness actually, Shinshan chips, like seriously, I bought this one even though I can't read what's written in here, just and just because of this Shinshan picture and the pizza flavor, like if you're someone who knows me personally, you know how crazy I am for pizza, my whole world revolves around pizza, I'm that crazy about it, so yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one, not only that, Thailand has this very um, interesting thing that goes on in here that is like the snacks that you find here are most of the time cartoon inspired things like you've got Doraemon, you've got Shin Chan. Also, 
um, there are snacks which are inspired by animes. Isn't that real cool? Like, I saw this chips which had a picture of like your Gabi, okay? Like, if you are a Death Note fan, you will get the reference of it. And not only that, I saw Naruto chips and everything related to animes and, you know? So, yeah. Let's give this a try. Okay, so this is another roll. Um, I've had a lot of pizza crisps, but, but like you get those Pringles and pizza flavor and some other stocks and pizza flavor as well. But this one literally feels like I'm having a pizza in the form of a wafer or a chips or a crisp roll. Like, it's that good. Okay, so, yeah, moving on. We've got this, um, which one did I go for first? Euro cake. Okay, so this is like the Euro cake that you get here. Now, this is uh, Thailand's version of Pinkies. If you are someone who is well educated with American snacks, you know what Pinkies are. Those are like, you know, small little cakes with um, cream in the center. And this is like a lot like those Twinkies. Now, when I was buying this, you had a few flavors like you had caramel, custard. I went for the strawberry one. It, it smells very preservative and artificial, but... Oh my god, the cake is like, you know, very, very, very soft. It's very moist, actually. And I'll break it from the center and let's see how much cream they have. And I really don't want to be disappointed, as most of the times. Okay, I'm not disappointed. Oh my god. Like, oh my lord. Okay, so this is not exactly a cream, but more of a jelly cream. The, this smells like fresh strawberries. Unlike the packet that was like totally artificial. It's the best, best, best. Packaged cake I ever had. It's soft. It's moist. And the strawberry jelly cream in the center is like just the icing on the cake. It's that beautiful. Okay, moving on. We've got a snowball cake, which is very famous uh, in here. And it looks exactly like a snowball. So I really want to try this out. Okay, this does look like a snowball. It's like a small little igloo, right? You just need a door in here, and yeah, you're ready. Okay, so I don't know which flavor this is, but it looks like something that's chocolate with some white cream on the center. So, yeah, it's gonna be messy. Okay, I need to bite this. Mmm. This is desiccated coconut, chocolate cake on the inside. I'm not a fan of co uh, coconut desserts, but I won't think twice before having this again. But I can't see any cr white cream in the center as it shows in the packet, like in here. So, yeah, let me see if there is any. Alright, there is. Okay, yes, there you go. Now, let's give this cream a try. Mm. Mm. This is too good to be true. Mm. I'm gonna lick my fingers, literally. It's that good. It's beautiful. Also, um, did I miss out anything? 
before I move on to the favorite part, my most favorite, uh, I have another packet of more, more, more snacks. And yeah, I actually didn't get time to see what these are, but I'll just take them out. Yep. So here I have these chocolate flavored chips, I think. I've never had a chocolate flavored chips. Like, wow. Thailand is doing some great job in their snacks department. Yep. Oh my god, these are chips that are chocolate flavored. I'm scared about trying this. Mm. Mm. I was so wrong. I was so wrong. This tastes better than these. I guess. Yes, definitely. Definitely. This is like very airy. Yet crispy and it's beautiful. Moving on to this, um, I don't know what these are, but these look like little cookies. So I guess they are cookies. I don't know which flavor they are of. So there's this white cream inside those two little cookies. It's like a small mini cookie sandwich. And I guess this white cream is maybe vanilla or coconut. Not sure. So let's check it out. So this is how it looks. Isn't this like so cute? It's so pretty. And these are the cook. Okay, this is really tough. Cookie sandwiches. Now, buttercream is something that you usually find here inside breads of Thailand. And it's nothing but butter whipped in a bit of sugar. And they use it as a filling, which is like very tasty. So, it's buttercream inside. And the cookies are like really flavorful. So, I'm loving them. Now, this is a um, crispy noodle snack. I guess it's going to be slightly like Y Y maybe. I'm not sure. But let's give this a try. Okay, no. It's not like Y Y but it's like this. Like these are noodle strips actually. I guess this is going to be spicy. But there's like you no know, flavor written on it. Maybe it's written but it's in Thai so I don't know. These surprisingly taste like very very but not filled with so much of spices. It's very plain and I'll have this when you know when I'll be like really bored. Maybe while watching Netflix I'll definitely definitely have these. Moving on, this is another Kit Kat matcha and this is I guess all the same yeah it's the same like in this one so I'll move on to my favorite is there anything left not really right? moving on to my most favorite part macaroons okay now I found these beautifully cute looking macaroons like just focus on this part if you can and you'll understand how small and cute these are. And macaroons here are pretty expensive. It's one of those uh, luxurious desserts which, you know, are like really expensive. Yeah. And the best part is the cream and the macaroon shells are of two different colors. Like for a pink shell macaroon, 
the cream is white and all of these are actually of different flavors like when i asked the person as in like the person who was selling this that which flavor are these macaroons he said it's all mixed okay so i'm really excited for which flavor this is but i'll guess this is a strawberry one because it's pink but let's find now so freaking good and guys i'll just show you the colors this is like an orange one this is a green macaroon with a pink filling this is a blue macaroon with a purple filling like oh my lord it's so cute so yeah by this i guess we are at the end of the video also did you guys notice that i did this here like kylin is so amazing I was thinking of doing a shopping haul as well, but let's see. And yeah, that's all for now. Please do like this video. Do comment your views on it, and subscribe to my channel. Till then, spread love. Toodles.